Hey, what's up Wayfinders? I know we're all battling the login boss, but I have another video with some more tips and tricks to help while playing in early access. If you missed my first video, make sure to check that out and don't forget to subscribe for more Wayfinder content if you find this one helpful. So you'll be queuing to many Lost Zone dungeons while playing and after you have established a connection or complete the intro quest to each dungeon, you can actually just queue straight from the main Big Gloom Gate outside Skylight. It gives you all the options from each zone that you have available and really cuts down on traveling and extra load screens. No need to travel to another map, run to the actual location. Iframe blocking to stop a melee animation can be quite useful. When using melee weapons, you'll typically be put into some lengthy animations while comboing. Sometimes you need to stop the combo to avoid damage, and this is where blocking comes in handy. You can see here I'm actually spamming my melee attack and then pressing block immediately after, and it's almost stopping the attack instantly. Use this to help your survivability and escape incoming damage while using melee combos. While we're talking about blocking, you've probably run into a blocking bug where your character gets stuck holding block even though you aren't pressing it anymore. This can be quite annoying but there's a quick fix for it mid-combat. While stuck in this bugged phase, first hold your block button and then press your dash or dodge while holding block and it will fix it. You'll be able to use your attacks like normal right after again. I'll be going into more detail on this in an upcoming video but you might have seen chalices that you can give imbuements to when you are inside of a lost zone. A lot of people ignore these, but they give you a buff depending on what imbuement you give to the chalice, so don't forget to use these when you can and buff up your group. Make sure to craft consumables as they provide a boost to a stat for a short time and experience gain by 5% as well. If you don't have a particular mutator you're going for when you're running lost zones, try adding in a greed imbuement for easy extra gold in your run. You can get small amounts of gold from the piles on the ground, and then a small ad will spawn that comes to attack you. These are very easy to kill and not really a big threat making this an easy way to squeeze out a little bit more gold each run. Dashes are most useful to get out of telegraphs from incoming damage, but you can time a dash right as a telegraph pops to avoid damage without actually moving out of it. You can see here that the dash animation correlates with the telegraph, but we do not lose any health. This can be useful if you need to stay up close to weave in as much damage as possible while also avoiding an attack. If you're just beginning, pay attention to the icon on the left side of enemies nameplates. The silver icon will have a claw mark type icon with either two marks or three that signifies the difficulty level of that mob. Three marks are more dangerous than two, so if you're ever running around and get one shot, it's most likely from a three mark enemy that's either much higher level than you or more dangerous. While in Lost Zones, hidden items might be located behind paths, doors, or jumping puzzles and don't always show up on the minimap. If you look here, there's technically nothing showing on the minimap for this spot, so always keep your eyes peeled for hidden treasure when running your dungeons. This is an easy one, but if you want to know how much more XP you need until you're level up, press escape to the main character screen and look at the top left by your Wayfinder's banner. There you can see both your Wayfinder and weapon experience bars. In the shop under characters, you can use a Wayfinder token or rune silver to instantly unlock a level 1 Wayfinder that you do not have, and you can also purchase weapons for rune silver as well. All of these will come at level 1 though, and you will still need to level them up. Inside the Great Lift, there are target dummies that you can use to practice or test abilities and builds. Also, don't underestimate the break power stat as this is really important in doing damage to the yellow bar above enemy's health. Breaking that bar allows for massive damage to be done to your target. Some weapons are better at this than others and I'll cover this in an upcoming video. If you're into housing, don't forget you can craft housing items at Foreman Ruby who is located near the west gate up above across from the elevator. There are many recipe patterns you can start crafting to add to your collection and start decorating your apartment. And there's part 2 of some easy bug fixes and quick tips that might help while you're playing Wayfinder in early access. Wishing you all the best in your adventures and if you enjoy these videos don't forget to subscribe. Also thank you so much for the continued support and comments you guys rock and I'll see you in the next one.